Now you're ready to complete the treasure hunt pre-lab activity that we've prepared for you so that you could get a little bit more familiar with the command line commands that we just covered. So if you navigate to this link, this GitHub classroom repository link, you'll see a page that looks like this uh, where you can accept the assignment. Uh, and then it'll generate every time that you do this, like you'll accept an assignment for the lab it'll generate a new GitHub page for you, a new GitHub repository that's specific to your account. So here's a screenshot of mine. It's gonna be titled treasure-hunt-your-username. And what you wanna do is open the, um, or click on this code, this green code button here, and then it'll open a panel which shows the URL. So what that URL is gonna be used for is for the git clone command, which we can use to download this repository into the CS50 sandbox. So you're going to type in git clone and then replace a link with this URL that's specific to you and your account. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have here uh, my treasure hunt uh, repository. Uh, I'm going to click on the green code button and here I have access to the URL. So I'm going to just copy that. So I have my CS50 sandbox open here, and I can type in git clone, and then paste in that URL that I just copied. What's gonna happen here is it's gonna just ask you to put in your username and password. So uh, make sure you follow the instructions to get a personal access token. We have that video posted in the Canvas site for 121L. So you're gonna, instead of pasting your password here or typing out your password here, you're gonna copy and paste the personal access token that you've generated. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you store that somewhere because once you've generated it, you will not be able to like see it again on GitHub. So you're gonna wanna put it into a notes or some kind of doc. So I'm gonna just pull out my personal access token and then I'll paste it in here and that effectively acts as my password. So now I can see in my file tree that my treasure hunt um, repository is here. So once you're at this point, you'll be able to like open the readme.md and then that'll give you the instructions uh, as to what you're gonna wanna do. So your goal here is to find the treasure and it's gonna be in one of these rooms. You can see a garden and you can see a house. And then within the house, there's different rooms like the front room, the upstairs. So what you're gonna do is navigate through all these different rooms in the house to try and find the treasure using the command line. So just to give you a brief demo, so the first command you learned was pwd, this tells you where you are, uh, and then cd uh, to change into the directory. So first I'm gonna type ls to see where I am, or like what um, directories there are in uh, the directory that I'm in currently. So we're listing that out. I see that I am not in my treasure hunt folder. So I'm, what I'm going to do is cd into that. I'm going to type in the first few letters, then press tab to autocomplete, and then cd in. So now if I type in pwd, you can see that I've now changed directories into my treasure hunt repo. And if I type ls, then I see everything that you can actually see here and in the file tree. So now what you'll do from here on out is just use the commands that you've seen already, like CD and just navigate through the different parts of this garden in the house to try and find the treasure. And once you do that, then you've completed the pre-lab exercise. So to just note that this pre-lab exercise is not graded so nothing needs to be submitted. Um, you're not gonna get a grade for this, but you will get a grade for the lab one exercise, which we'll see in a bit. So you gotta make sure that you submit that lab one exercise to GitHub. But for this one, this is just a pre-lab, so all you wanna do is get a little bit more familiar with the command line commands.